The deal of the century is a synonym for a strategic plan to eliminate the Palestinian cause. The recent U.S. attack against Palestinian fundamental principles is a continuation of a colonial agenda in Palestine, aiming to legitimize the presence of an occupation state. At its core, the Arab-Israeli conflict is about two fundamental things, land and people. First, Trump announced his administration's recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, essentially giving Jerusalem a city sacred to Muslims, Jews, and Christians, and home to 400,000 Palestinians, 45% of the population, exclusively to Israel, the Jewish state. Now, by eliminating its funding of UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, which has contributed to the welfare and human development of four generations of Palestine refugees. The Trump administration has made clear its intent to similarly eliminate from the negotiation table the Palestine refugees' right of return, thus paving the way for a deal on Israel's terms. So who in the Trump administration is dictating Israel's terms for a peace deal between the Jewish state and a Palestinian state? The Israeli and Jewish media have been reporting on this in detail. Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, is Jewish and has many questionable Israeli business relationships. It is important to have an honest and sincere effort to disrupt UNRWA, wrote Kushner. Jason Greenblatt, Trump's longtime real estate lawyer and current special representative for international negotiations, is Jewish and an advocate for Israel. Greenblatt has stated, the American plan seeks to end the work of UNRWA. David Friedman, Trump's longtime bankruptcy lawyer and current U.S. ambassador to Israel, is Jewish and an advocate for expanding illegal Israeli settlements. Here he is with a photograph depicting a Jewish temple in the place of Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Golden Dome landmark synonymous with Jerusalem. And last but not least, Nikki Haley, U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., who recently stepped down and who is anticipated to make a run for the presidency. So when they decided to try and put a Palestinian in one of the highest positions that had ever been given at the U.N., we said no, and we had to root it out. The Israeli Occupation Forces tweeted a thank you for her service. Surely, Trump's son-in-law, his real estate lawyer, his bankruptcy lawyer, and Israel's defender at the UN will put together a deal that will be fair to Jews and Palestinians alike, right? Right. Many Jewish Americans oppose Israel's crimes, but these individuals are not the ones driving U.S. Middle East policies. Aaron David Miller is Jewish and a critic of the current peace process. For far too long, many American officials involved in Arab-Israeli peacemaking, myself included, have acted as Israel's attorney, catering and coordinating with the Israelis at the expense of successful peace negotiations. The deal of the century is not a negotiation for peace. It's a negotiation for land and people.